Oh man, guys, look at this. That is super sketchy. I mean, that tree is literally laying over the road, you know, like the highway, laying on a power line. They give us the ticket up here in the big boy section. Oh yeah, let's start this journey. All right, guys, so as you can see there, we got three and a half hours of driving going on here down the turnpike. And I'm sure you guys are wondering where we are going, and I will disclose that as soon as we arrive, get everything figured out. 80 gallons, fuel cell is ready to rock, let's get out here. Wanted you guys to uh, see here that uh, still no power to any of these traffic signals here. Pretty much, basically, everyone's acting as if it's uh, stop signs and uh, you just kind of go as you go. It's definitely, definitely crazy, guys. It definitely teaches you a whole new respect for things. Um, you know, and like I said, it's it's kind of, kind of a bad situation, but everyone seems to be coming together. Like, no power to, obviously, any of those power lines, and it's, it's crazy, guys. It's, it literally is. Like, it's, you know, it makes you kind of feel bad, you know? Like, how else can I help out other than this, you know? But, Let's go get some fuel in this generator and keep on going. And she's starting to snow again. Oh boy. Let's see. Let's hope this uh, doesn't knock power out. Yeah, I, I definitely need to do something about them wiper blades too. That dragon noise drives me insane. Alright guys, so this is sort of some of the things that I've been running across. As you can see, that tree is completely down on the power lines and it actually pulled the pole down with it so i just kind of wanted to show you guys some of the destruction that's going on and uh it's pretty crazy fit in between this little gate here and this down tree. tower we have commercial power so we can go ahead and shut down our generator and uh, we're gonna be able to call in for a health check they're gonna say yes the tower is good or no the tower is not good and uh, we'll be good to pull this generator back to the yard and this plant is done go ahead and shut her down now we'll call in for a health check she got no shave November. Got a little mustache going. Ah, damn it, I just busted my knuckle. Where do I sign up for medical leave? A busted knuckle? Now I just dropped my muffin on myself. Ah. Well, that was absolutely fun because there's nowhere to turn around up there. So I had to back down. Look at my little S turns. Like, that's terrible. But because it's such a uh, small thing and a pinnel hitch, it kind of goes left really quick or right really quick. So we backed it down and out and uh, they want me to leave it here. So we're gonna leave it here and head to the next job. Well guys, as I'm out here in the field, we came across our first problem with the power stroke. Apparently the freaking sunroof is leaking causing it to drip i'm literally sitting here and i keep getting drips on me i'm like what the heck i look up and sure enough the sunroof is leaking unbelievable now this probably is going to be a little clickbaity and i'm going to apologize 
Well, you know I gotta post problems with the power stroke and I gotta put a good thumbnail picture. I know you guys are gonna love it. This is unreal. Like my roof is literally dripping in the freaking power stroke. Unbelievable. Well, dispatch wants me to leave the generator now and they want me to leave it next to the tower. So I get the joys of backing this generator back up this hill, which it is what it is, part of the job. Now my trailer brakes wanna act up. Trailer disconnected. Not sure if you guys seen that, but that was literally a big tree laying on a power line. As you can see here, guys, they have a bunch of people dispatched out here to get power back onto these people. This storm is definitely, I like to me, it doesn't seem like it's much. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I don't think this is a bad storm or anything like that. However, when I come up through, I mean, there are trees on every, like, on the side of every road. You know, every 10 telephone poles, there's a tree laying on it. So I don't know what exactly, there's one there on the tree or on the power line. I don't know what exactly happened up here, but uh, look, there's a limb down on that that one. So it's it's kind of gnarly. It's it's impressive that you know some of this power is back up by now, but you know it's a learning experience for me. That's for sure. Oh man, guys, look at this. That is super sketchy. I mean, that tree is literally laying over the road. You know, like the highway laying on a power line that is insane guys i'm literally driving under that wire wow guys I, I think i did say it a couple times i don't know at what point i'm gonna put this in the video but this has definitely been an experience to say the least you know i am blown away guys I don't even know what to say so I'm yeah we came through this intersection earlier and there was no power so power has been put back on as you can see they still haven't reset anything so oh man it's definitely been a, a long one that's for sure oh they got the they got this light working this light is actually working now. All right, guys, so I'm up here to refuel, and this is that very, very first path that I took that was covered in snow, and as you can see, there's a broken tree limb, and now I got to go around it because obviously I can't go through it, and I don't have a chainsaw with me any longer. Hope you guys get a good, like, understanding of this. This is kind of neat kind of fun not sure how well you guys can see this but obviously there is a wire completely down see it there in the loop and that as you can see it goes back up ties in and now it's completely on the ground there and this was actually my very 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 first assignment was to get power to this place so it's actually kind of cool to see that the generator has still been running this whole time um and they're they're working on getting power back now i did see a power company down the road a little ways you know you can see the cable going under the tree branches and there's where it's just bunched up and i'm gonna assume it ends there because that's where the post ends and i can actually see the end of it but yeah as you see there's just trees down everywhere just some more of the uh, destruction that this storm has created. And this was the very first one, like the, the very first one that I dropped the generator off that was a complete steep hill. That was this one here. As you can see, they are working to restore power. Look at the flock of turkeys. Just 
like this, our trip is coming to an end. The truck did absolutely amazing with one small little thing, which I'm not upset about. Oh, I got to grab it up high again. I forgot to show you there, but uh, oh, you want to go? You want to go? Oh, oh, I didn't think so. Should have probably turned the track control off there. But Harrisburg, here we come. And you guys can't think that this truck is a slouch because she'll get up and go when she's ready. We have some fun in her. She's definitely not designed to do a hunter. She will. She's not scared. She's not scared to do work and then come and do more work. And then do more work. We're almost home, baby. I am so proud of this truck. I'm so glad everything is coming together. It has been an, a remarkable trip. I'm thankful that I did it and you know, we're gonna do it again, guys. Just like that, our trip is in the books. Now, 12.7 miles per gallon, that's literally leaving my house, driving out there, doing all the routes and everything, and coming back home. So that is incredible. Um, as you see here, 526.7 miles on the F450 today. And it had a load behind it, you know, probably, I think it was 314 miles of that had a load behind it, 11,000 pound generator, and it was just doing work. I'm freaking pumped, guys, I'm excited. The truck did absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, I, I don't even know what else to say. The truck's doing amazing. We're obviously home now, you can see the uh, Ford there. That's the uh, 6 -0. gotta get that done tomorrow. Obviously, see not much, not much more, but we are finally home, guys. It was a long journey, that's for sure. I'm excited that I did it. I will definitely be doing it again in the future. If you guys like this kind of content, I'm gonna do it. Which, even if you don't like it, I'm gonna do it, guys. That was a, that was a. I don't even know the words to describe what I learned and what I got out of this trip. It's just so many things happened and i'm i'm thankful that i got the opportunity to do it and i'm going to do it again so with that being said guys if you like the content smash that like button please subscribe and we will see you in the next upload i don't even know what the next upload is going to be maybe the c5 maybe we'll go up there and break out the twin turbo corvette and have a little fun who knows guys thanks for watching